Dash back. Lively. Finds Jalen Brown. Knocks down another three. That's the stolen by Tatum. Tatum goes up and lays it up and in. You gotta get up. Get up. There's Pritchard. He loves these. Puts it up half court of the buzzer. Bang! Gonna board. Take time off the clock. Brown drives. Finds Porzingis. Ain't no use, Simba. He's a goner. He's a goner. You know, he's, he, he's probably riding horses with Jokic by now. It's a sad day for me to report that Luka has indeed been eliminated from the NBA Finals. Like, I, ca I can't even believe it sometimes, dude. I, I woke up this morning and was like, is Luka still playing tonight? <laughs> you know, Luka had a historic play up front. And by historic, I mean leading the NBA in postseason in points, rebounds, and assists, something which is very impressive, obviously, but will probably get washed down by all these critics. I am a firm believer that there are no mistakes in life if you don't learn from them. And um, I think Luca's gonna learn from his mistakes. I mean, fouling out in game three, mistake, <laughs> his attitude, he needs to clean it up a bit. And I feel like he's now finally cognizant of it. I think he needed his ass whooping, dude. You know, I for him to look back, reflect, and be like, you know what? S something's got to change. S something's got to change. And um, I would not be surprised if he comes back even stronger and better next year. Like, don't be surprised if Luca comes back fit and freaking less body fat than a freaking 90s model, dude. But before I continue rambling about how historic Luca's playoff run was this year, please like and subscribe. I can't say that enough. All right, let's get on with the video. So I first want to give a shout out. You, you, you got to give props where props is due. And the Celtics, they, they demolished Luke and the Mavs. Like, it's, it's, it's simple as that. They, they give them the props, but they won in convincing fashion. And Jalen Brown, who I'm working on a video on right now, actually. Uh, Jalen Brown deserves his flowers. I mean, he, he probably can't still dribble with his left hand. But you know what? This man can guard his ass off. I mean, just, just, just listen to this. If Luca stays, I'll stay. If Luca stays, keep me in trespassing at its finest dude you know what i mean jalen was on luca like freaking butter on shack's toast like I, I wouldn't be surprised if jalen is now on luca's car insurance plan now dude <laughs> yeah. like a good neighbor state farm is there and also side note freaking peyton pritchard should retire now and just shoot halftime balls for a living dude he'd make a killing uh oh how is Luca supposed to defeat this? Like, I, like he, he had no chance like, with freaking magicians on the hardwood. But going back to Luca's historic playoff run. I mean, like I said earlier, he finished the postseason as the NBA's leader in points in 635, rebounds in 208, and assists in 178. He is only the second player in NBA history to finish the postseason as a leader in all of those three categories, with the first ever to do it being his fellow best friend, Nikola Jokic. Doncic also joined another small club, that being players to score 3,000 points in a single season. His 28 points on Game 5 in the season's finale gave him a total of 3,005 points this season, which includes the freaking playoffs. He also became the 11th player to do that, being Michael Jordan, who had 10 seasons doing a key, Michael, the GOAT. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain had five of those seasons and nine other players. Also, in 22 games this postseason, Doncic averaged a league best, a league best, 28.9 points, 9.5 rebounds, 8.1 assists, 1.9 steals, and 41 minutes per contest. He is the first player in NBA history to exit the postseason in the league leader in all of those four statistical categories but listen Doncic Luka Doncic and the Mavs are gonna run it back next year like all the players besides two are on the contract next year with the first being Markeith Morris like I don't, I don't know if they're gonna resign him he's probably a goner but also Derek Jones who they need to resign Derek Jones Jr. played a pivotal role he was a great 3 and D player you guys saw him freaking flying over to freaking gym uh, every single game and uh it was noticeable that they have some holes to fill. Just some holes, just, just one or two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kyle Kuzma? Kyle Kuzma. I, 
My Wizards are trying to trade him. Kyle Kuzma. I can see Kyle Kuzma fitting there nicely. Like being the third scoring option. And apparently, they don't like Wizards players flourish in freaking Dallas. We have a long history of that, dude. I don't know what y'all have in Dallas. You guys are like a freaking rehabilitation center for Wizards players. I don't know what. <laughs> you guys, take this channel with you. Take this channel to freaking Dallas. Maybe you'll thrive there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. But after the game, Luca had some words to say in the interview that I want to point out. How much were you hurting? It doesn't matter if I was hurt. Uh, how much was I hurt? Uh, I was out there. Uh, tried to play. Uh, but I didn't do enough. It was true. He was hurting. He had injuries. But you know what? Those are not excuses. Luca has Slovenian mentality. He's a hard worker and the job wasn't done. Simple as that. The job wasn't done and Luca was not going to freaking sit down on his freaking ass and watch everybody else play with him not joining his teammates. And also, they're just like freaking little nagging injuries. Like, like they're, 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 he's not Kawhi. Freaking Luca will play through the injury. And we have medicine nowadays. We're not in the freaking Great Depression era. We have medicine, dude. We have, we have like, I don't know, milk, <laughs> low fat milk. <laughs> oh, he needs God. some milk. Quick turnaround time before the Olympic qualifying tournament. Uh, um, what, what do you. Uh... I don't want to talk about what's next, man. I have some decisions, some decisions to make. Dude! He just finished the game. He just finished the game. You're over here asking about his summer plans. <laughs> what? That's like me asking you how many babies you're going to have after losing your virginity. <laughs> no. There, there are steps to this. Baby steps. I saw you and Kyrie had a moment of embrace there at the end of the game. Just uh, stay together, man. Uh, he's unbelievable. You know, uh, just helping. You know, we said we'll fight together next season uh, and we're just gonna believe personally i love this you know I, I like seeing i don't know what happened to Kyrie this off season well in general since he joined dallas there there is something in dallas that is making the entire country move to freaking texas dude uh -uh. <laughs> funny thing is i'm visiting texas this week <laughs> um i might even just stay there freaking dude. i don't care fuck this don't mess with texas but Kyrie morphed into a freaking leader, a ve like a veteran presence in the locker room, somebody that all the young players can look up to, somebody like a star, like Luka Doncic can freaking rely on. You see, I'm not gonna sit here and deny that Luka had some flaws in the finals. I, 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 you, I have to admit it, Luka did not play up to par, well, he did not play up to his own level in the finals, like he didn't. Um, even though he played awesome in the first three rounds, I knew that if Luca lost, it would open the floodgates for all these freaking haters. Like, like, I freaking woke up last night, and I, yeah, I sleep during the day sometimes, dude. Uh, and uh, the freaking this clip of Lashawn McCoy just yammering. Quit is the worst all-star I've ever seen in my life. He can score the ball, he can pass the ball, he can rebound, all that. He has no effort on defense. He don't want to play defense. He has, he don't hustle for no loose balls. <laughs> I mean, he, he's a football player. He's a football player with his freaking Hail Mary take. Um, yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's also the same guy who said this. When I brush my teeth, I don't always use, I never, I never use water. They need water, they need this, they need that. I don't need none of that. What the hell is wrong with you? Gilbert Arenas crew, who out of freaking all, like what, all four of them have just one NBA Finals appearance between all of them. I mean, Gilbert Arenas, DC alum, love him, but Gilbert Arenas never made it to the final. Nope. Brandon Jennings, I mean, I think he's a big fan of Luka, though, <laughs> never made it to the finals. Nope. Rashad McCants barely made it out of his rookie contract. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Kenyon Martin, okay. Hey, he made it to the finals. <laughs> Kenyon Martin made it to the finals, so you know what? Yeah, he had a damn stellar career. Uh, I don't want to talk shit about Kenyon. <laughs> he whooped my ass. He whooped my ass to the freaking Stone Age. Um, I'm not going to give Luka excuses. He just didn't play up to par in the finals. Simple as that. But I firmly believe there are no mistakes in life unless you don't learn from them. And... I saw a different Luca game five and four. He was more reserved on the court. He wasn't really like, he wasn't really, I guess, like, like complaining to the refs. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. He does complain to the refs a lot, 
But um, I think he took note. I think he needed this. Some people need to learn the hard way, and he reached rock bottom in terms of his competitiveness regarding losing in the finals. That's rock bottom to me. And he needs some time to reflect. And I would not be surprised if he comes back next year in freaking shape and has the career year. Puts the league on notice. While he did have a phenomenal playoff campaign, give him his props, give him his flowers. Losing in the finals, he needed this. He needed this to wake up. He needed this to say, you know what? There's going to be some changes around here. Winners learn from their mistakes. And Luka is a winner. He's proven that his entire career. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Is Luka going to come back even stronger next year? I think so, dude. But I'm a buffoon from Maryland. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next report, next video. Peace, y'all.